Hi everyone, in this video I'm gonna try to demonstrate this uh, nice circular animation in Figma. As you see, uh, we have a delay or time uh, trigger uh, for our animation and we also can navigate between the screens with these, uh, with these navigation dots. So, uh, let's get started. As you see uh, in this file, we only have static elements. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create uh, uh, elements we're gonna use. So, uh, first we have our navigation dot here. And uh, as you see, we also have an, its uh, active state. What I'm going to do is uh, making it a component and uh, since we're gonna have its active state i'm gonna create a boolean property and name it active and by default it's gonna be false and after that i'm gonna uh, activate the active state in the layers panel and select it the active layer and uh, assign it to our active boolean property so uh, when we drag our navigation element from our assets panel as you see we can uh, toggle its active state on and off so uh, I'm gonna clone this two times I believe I made this frames 44 by 44 to uh, keep the size optimal for uh, mobile screens in terms of making them easily clickable and uh, I'm going to Make them another component, which is dot VR. Yeah, right. So uh, the second element that we are going to prepare is apparently uh, the element or design graphic <laughs> that we're going to animate. So. Uh, this is just a uh, triangle with some custom uh, with some custom stroke, and uh, we also have an ellipse here, which actually uh, helps us to keep the animation's origin in the spot we want. So. Uh, since it only serves for that purpose, we are making its fill uh, invisible. Since uh, we need uh, three numbers in the correct angles aligned with those three corners, I'm gonna clone this number and uh, select uh, both ellipse and triangle group and my new number and I'm going to rotate them both uh, 120 degrees and change this number to 2 and apply the same steps here to make the rotation once more to have three numbers in the places we want. So uh, the element that we are going to animate is ready this way. So actually I'm gonna just take it into my artboard. Let's check their position with the guides. I placed beforehand 
can actually uh, clone our frame or screen to uh, to make the rotation and in the screen we want to see the number two right so I'm gonna clone this screen once more and select the object that I'm going to rotate and rotate it to have the number three there and we can start actually defining the uh, delay animations here so after delay i want to go to this artboard and the animation type is going to be smart animate and smart animate type is going to be gentle and the duration is going to be 800 milliseconds so the same is going to be defined for this artboard i want to navigate to the third artboard and the rest of the settings are going to remain the same right so this is the first trigger of our animation i'm gonna also define the navigation interactions so uh, when i click the first dot i need to be able to go to the first artboard regardless of uh, which artboard i'm on and uh, animation is going to be smart and type is going to be gentle and 800 seconds is going to our duration right so the same goes for second dot i need to be able to uh, go to the second screen when i click the second dot and the rest of the settings are going to remain the same so let's define the interaction for the third navigation dot and everything looks okay so uh, the last step is deleting let's go back to the design tab deleting this uh, static placeholder navigation dots and drag in an instance of our nav group component and making our guides visible and aligning it to our artboard and copy it and paste it to the rest of the uh, frames right the last thing we need to do is toggling the active relevant active states for each screen right so second one is going to be active in the second screen and so on I realized that I forgot defining a delay interaction from the third artboard to the first one which is going to be like this so let's check our prototype as you see our time triggered animation is happening also you can just navigate with the help of our navigation dots hope you liked the tutorial see you in the next one